here we are, right out the back of Tally Creek. I'm out on the paddleboard, testing out this little homemade 3D printed crank. I was watching a couple of Drew Minto YouTube videos the other day and he was throwing cranks around bridge pylons and rock walls and it looked pretty fun. So I thought why not try to make a little crank and then I thought why not ask Drew if he wants to draw up a shape. So I contacted him to see if he wanted to draw a little crank up that I could make. I've tried to record the whole process of how we went from drawings to the 3D design to the printing all the way through to a few tests. So when it comes out the printer, it comes out with the support in place. So we just need to chip all this away. And it snaps off pretty easily. Got a little pair of pliers. We start just breaking off most of that support structure. Alright, so once we got all the big bits ripped off, just need to give it a quick sand. We're going to make sure the holes are clear where we're going to put the weight. Just get in there and dig them out. Now I'll grab a drill and I'll just drill out the holes where the hooks on the tow point's going to go. There's already a hole there but it just needs to be cleaned out.
So I've just glued a wire in place to hold it. For now, this stuff's called Diamond Clear. We just dip it in. That should harden in a couple of hours and give it a decent waterproof. Give it a couple of goes, make sure you've got a good coat. And just let that rotate around. It should dry pretty evenly in a couple of hours. Alright, so we let that dry overnight. It's pretty hard now. And all we're going to do is add all the components and then test it with a bit of weight to see if we can get the balance right. Just re drill the holes. making the eyelets just got a little hook in the drill a bit of thin wire hold it in the pliers and just stretch it out as you twist it Nice little hook hanger. Just going to use super glue to put them in place. Strong enough for a broom. Oh, you're kidding. Obviously, it's... Okay, so I've attached hooks about the right size. So we'll just do a quick float test to see how it sits in the water. Make sure there's no air bubbles. And it's floating a bit front high. We want to get that bib down a bit. So that's what we've made those holes in there to add weights. Just got a five mil steel bearing. Just sitting in there. Still a bit too buoyant. Alright, that's sitting pretty good. We want it floating so it doesn't get snagged. Bibs down in the water. Should be alright. Now we've just got to go test it down the creek. Just going to tie it onto a bit of 20 pound leader. So if it swims on 20 pound, it should swim on light brim gear. Float's pretty nice. It's not too buoyant. Bib angles down. Let's 
swim. It's got a mad tight little wobble. Let's see if it'll swim straight. See that? The rod tip vibrating. Seems pretty straight. Happy with that. I'm very happy with how that went for the first swim. Straight off the printer, had a nice tight action, actually cast really well for how chunky it is. So yeah, now we'll just put some colour on it. Right, those weights don't actually fit in all the way, so next time I print one out, I'll make those holes a little bit deeper, but that'll be alright for this one. For the colours, I'm just going to use yellow, raw umber, and just sort of do a natural looking darker back, sort of yellowy green belly. Need a bit of black as well. It's kind of a army green kind of colour. Pretty black. Just got to blow it with a bit of air because it's pretty thick the paint at the minute. Just need to get it to dry. Alright, just clean this out now. Got a bit of bright orange for the belly. Now it's had a minute to dry. I'm just going to glue some eyes in place. And then we're going to dip it again in the diamond clear as a final coat, one more waterproof, and to seal the paint in. Give that a minute to dry, and then we'll dip it again in the clear. So here's the finished product, came out alright, swims good, casts well, happy with the end result, we're even happier when it catches a fish, now I've just got to make myself some, make Drew some more and send them off. 
So here they are. I've printed out a few more for Drew to test. A few different colors, a few different weights. So this one's got a bit of lead, so it's gonna be a slow sinking. And then there's a couple of suspending and then a couple of floating just to try out a few different things. I'll post those off today and hopefully you can make a video soon and show some fish being caught on them. I'll also make myself a couple more and I'll go give them a test run as well. Stay tuned. There he is. Hey, first fish. Oh, that's a little bimbo. Oh, there he is. First fish on the 3D printed crank. Oh, he's not even in the mouth. Let's see it. Oh, and there he goes. Nice. It's only about the 10th cast. Happy with that. Let's see if we can get a legal one. This lure is diving to about a metre and a half, I'd say. And it's just bumping along the bottom the whole way back, so. I'm a half decent chance of getting a flatty, I'd say. Hey, got him. Oh, dropped him. Oh, come back. He's looking at it all. It's floating. It's a bit of a faster tree then. We whacked it. 